Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video is sponsored by Srytech. I've got their Srytech Fast and their Tenacious that they just sent me out. And what's really cool about Tenacious is that you can mix it with your resins and it will make them more durable and more flexible. So whenever you buy one of these large bottles of resin, they're never completely full to the top and there's always room to add more. So what I do is I take one of the beakers that came with one of my resin printers. There's no exact amount that you have to mix to do whatever you want. You kind of mix what you want. I went to the top line, which is 100 milliliters, and then I took it about halfway, so I went 150. I filled this up once all the way to the top, and then halfway full, I dumped it in my fast, and then I shook it up really good. It's very thick out of the cup, so you have to drain the excess out because it comes out like syrup. It's very thick. And just shake it up really good and then start printing. And, I've, you know, I've never had trouble with Srytech resin ever. Even on my Elegumars, my smaller resin printer, I don't have to tweak all the settings and do this and do that. I just dump it in and it works. It just works. And with the larger resin printers, as you know, and a lot of people have experienced, you have to tweak different settings and get everything just right to get certain resins to work just right. They don't just work on the fly automatically. But with Strytech, they do. I mean, I've had no problems. Some people uh, might have issues, but I've had zero issues with Strytech. And uh, it was very nice of them to send me up these two bottles to try out. I bought tons of the resin over time, and I really appreciate that they uh, sent these two for doing this video today. And I'm printing a really cool model. I'm test printing a model by Dennis Moore at 3D Model, 3D Model Figure Print. And over on his Patreon, I'll show you a picture here in a minute. But yeah, let me uh, show you the Srytech website and uh, show you them over on Amazon. And uh, yeah, let's start the video. I'll start showing you some prints. Um, I tried starting this particular model with another brand of resin, 3D RS, that I was working with. But I haven't got all the settings tweaked just right. But as you'll see in the video, I had some failures. So I switched over 100% with to the Srytech to finish the model. And then I paint it and I'll show it off. So... Here we go. Yeah, and here's the other website right here. It says tough and accurate, high resolution, high quality resins for enterprise users and makers alike. And let's go to shop now, I guess. And they got blue by Strytech for LCD resin. Um, yeah, let me just kind of go through these here and you can look at them and check out their prices. These are all one kilogram bottles. No reason to buy anything smaller. Some of them are on sale. And that's going directly to their website at siraya.tech, Sriatech. Lots of resins. And then they got five kilogram uh, bottles here, big bottles you can buy for Looks like $150, marked down from $200. And here's your Tenacious right here that is an additive that I'm adding with my other resins. Just to make them more uh, flexible, less likely to break. I mean, when I first got into resin printing, I thought everything was like glass, and if you broke it, it break like glass. But uh, if you get fast, ABS-like, add a Tenacious, there's many different things you can do to make your models more flexible. So, and checking them out here on Amazon, which I bought from Amazon directly. They've got two hubs here in Las Vegas where I live at, and then I got Prime, I pay for Prime, so I get free shipping. And I get every, everything usually shipped out in two days. But it looks like they got a lot of things on sale here, marked down. So, yeah, highly recommend. I definitely highly recommend uh, Strytech. So, well, let's get to printing. Awesome. The parts are all done in the Strytech res Fast Resin with Tenacious in it. And this is for a uh, spawn that I'm working on from 3D Figure Print. Wow. Loaded up the build plate. They came out beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. Well, let me get them cleaned up, and uh, I'll throw them in ultrasonic cleaner. I'll clean them up, we'll pull off all the supports, clean them with IPA very well, and go over them with a toothbrush, and then cure them, and we'll move on to the next parts. So yeah, try Tech Fast with Tenacious in it.
is with Hell Dog. This thing is really badass. That's all I can say. I'm very happy with it. Uh, Dennis Moore, the, the designer, done an awesome work, awesome work on it. But like I was saying in uh, earlier, Hell Dog was hollowed. He's three, three millimeters thick. He's completely hollowed. The tail and the tip are solid. The base is in two pieces. It has been hollowed also. Let's see. Spawn. The only thing that's solid on Spawn would be his head and the two hands. The rest have been hollowed. Um, let's see. The cape is solid. And there's a magnet on his back. I'm not going to take it apart right now. But if you pull out this pin right here, you can take off his head. The collar, this piece here, of the cape removes. You can pull this pin out. And the back will unhook, and you can take the back off. And that has a magnet to help hold it in place, and then you put this pin in. But, yeah, this came out great. The only thing I wasn't happy with is once I got all done and uh, went, got everything chromed, is that I hit it with a matte finish. and a rattle can, I took it outside. I sprayed it with a clear matte finish. That way it wouldn't be glossy. But when you put a matte finish on chrome, it dulls it. So some of my chrome looks silver. So I have a chrome pin that I bought. I do have chrome paint I can airbrush it on. But the chrome pin, I don't see yeah, out here. It's right here. These chrome pins right here, these things are awesome. They've got a hard plastic tip. It's called Liquid Chrome. I bought this on Amazon. It has a big W on it. It says Liquid Chrome. 20, year, 20 years edition is what it says on it. But this stuff is awesome. It will do perfect liquid chrome wherever you want it. It's really neat to have these things. Very easy to work with. So I went back over the head on the skull just a little bit and touched it up. But, yeah. I'm very pleased with it. This came out nice. And here I'll show you a picture on the screen, uh, one that I did for my son a while back. This is the Tony Chambers at 3D Model Crowdfund. Had this uh, commission for him. Uh, when was it? Like a year or two ago, I think. It was a year, year and a half ago. And this is here is done at 250% scale. This was all done in FDM. And this came out great. But, yeah, but back to this one here in resin. This is just unbelievable. And the only thing that was done in 3D RS resin were the two hands and the one leg. So, so I had a bunch of failures, so I jumped straight over to Strytech. And no failures whatsoever, no problems whatsoever. But yeah, beautiful model. And uh, the Dennis's group over on Facebook is 3DModelFigurePrint.com. And he also has a Patreon. And here I'll pull up a picture for the Patreon right here. And yeah, um, I don't know what to say. It's, you know. It took me a week to work on this. I was test printing it, and he sent me over various files throughout the week, and I've been test printing it. it. took me a total of seven days to complete this and get it painted, get everything printed on one resin printer. I've only got the one larger resin printer. so. And I do have a Anacubic uh, Mono X coming here in a few days, so I'll be doing a review on it and test prints. Then I'm going to have two mid-sized resin printers and then my small Elgu Mars. But one thing about resin printers, with the small ones, it seems like no matter what resin I put in them, they just work. But when I went to the mid-size printer, and I'm sure this goes for the big ones too, is that you have to tweak different settings with different resin. You, it, it isn't one size fits all. You have to go in and tweak different things. And if you don't, then you have failures, and you got to figure out why. But like I say, on the smaller resin printers, it seems like no matter what resin I put in, it just works. But the bigger one, it likes certain resins and certain ones it don't. And the only reason it wouldn't like certain, certain resins and I have failures is I have to do more tweaking. i got to change different settings, exposure time. Just different things have to be changed. But Strytech has been a winner for me all around. And, yeah, thank you very much, Strytech, for mailing mail out that resin to me. I really appreciate it. You guys rock. And, uh, hey, yeah. Uh, while you're here, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'd appreciate it. And if you'd like some cool discounts, down below in the description, you can find all that. So thanks once again, everybody, and happy resin printing. Oh, and before you go, stay tuned. We've got pictures. i got lots of pictures of all this stuff to show you. So stick around for all these pictures.